Hi guys, Will again here. So today we're just going to have a look at the shearling tops. I've got my little sister Ellie with me here today, who's here. Hello. And the main reason we're going to have a look at them is to see what's worth inspecting. So we've got to have a look through them to see what's the type for a pedigree registration. And that's the main reason why we look at them really. Hope you enjoy the video guys. So hello guys, we're now at the tops. They're just down here, there's nine of them. On the tree, sorry it's a bit windy, I'm just trying to keep you out of the wind here. So Ellie's gonna try and um, persuade them with a bucket of corn over there. Just over there, and there they go. Come on guys. Alright guys, so we're here with one of the tops and I'm going to just talk you through what we look for in a ram inspection. So I missed a bit here guys, this is for a clear... Well, our pre-inspection we're doing to see if we can guess what the inspector's looking for. So first of all, he's going to grab hold of the top here. Let's go on here. Yeah. So first of all, we check if they've got any horns. So here, they shouldn't have any stubs here at all. So as you can see, there are no stubs at all. He's just had a little fight here, but that's something to worry about. So after that, we check the teeth, and the teeth should be in line with the gums, if I can get a photo of that, so like that. They should be like rubbed smoothly from the teeth there. So if not, they're under or over shot. So if the teeth are like way past their gum, or wait under the gum, they won't have a good enough bite and you don't want to breed that into your females. I also forgot to say that they needed a jet black nose. After that, I'll take you around to the back end. We'll check the balls to make sure the balls are alright. And he's got two good balls. And also we don't want any brown hair at all. It's a bit muddy, but there's no brown hair at all over him. He's ready to be shorn as you can see. And um, this is actually one of the tops that I might be keeping back at home. So keep an eye out for them in the next couple of months. So as this is my own tuck guys, there's also a couple of things that I look for. I also like a nice bit of confirmation on its back end here. If Ellie comes away, you can let go of him out. I also want a flat back here. So I want to be a level back. And I want him broad across the front too. So I want to stand with a few letting go back out. So he wants to stand broad, if I let him go backwards, that's it. So you see he stands quite broad there. And also, if he walks this way, hopefully, I also want him to walk well. If I let him come down, come on, don't go, don't go. So he wants to walk well and straight. And there's some other things we look for in the top. So right guys, that's us done looking at the tops today. I really hope you enjoyed the video um, and it gave you a bit more of an insight on what we look for in our tops here at Cowley Hill. Please like the video if you enjoyed it and don't forget to subscribe. Cheers guys. <laughs>